Hey everybody, it's Darcy, and I'm the bad artist from London, Ontario, Canada. I hope you're having a great day. So today we're uh, doing my first ink and uh, dry charcoal, which, if you're wondering, is probably basically sidewalk chalk. I'm sure it's a better quality, but who knows. Um, found this piece of black bristle board, or, or some type of board in my closet, and uh, it's different, definitely different than watercolor paper. It's got some tooth to it, which means uh, it's a little bit more rough and will take the chalk applications a bit better. Um, so I did the moon, very common. Now the one thing you may not realize is um, when you're doing something like the moon, you've got to be pretty accurate again when you're trying to do a fair bit of detail. You might think, well, the moon's just kind of a white glowing orb in the sky, which is true, but um, there are some actual shapes and structures to the surface, and uh, you want to be semi-accurate because people will be actually looking for that. You don't want to do a moon that you think is accurate and people will look at it and go, oh, what's that? Which I think most people do with my art anyway. Um, but it was funny, I, it's, I don't know about you, but I grew up thinking, uh, or there's a fable anyway, that the moon was made out of cheese. So I did some research and found out you know, where this came from, and I guess it was started back in like the 1400s where it was sort of a fable that was brought up uh, because the moon looked like a round cheese wheel. Uh, some a lot of stories behind it though, some interesting... Um, for example, there was a point where uh, a fox, uh, which was bothering a bunch of chickens, was uh, lured to go after the uh, wheel of cheese instead. Well, it turned out what the, the wheel of cheese was a reflection in water from the moon. And when the fox went after the wheel of cheese, it jumped in after it. It went into the water and drowned, and the chickens got away, which is good news for the chickens but it's a little bit depressing I don't know if that was a uh, fairy, tale, <laughs> fairy tale for kids or not but uh, yeah um, it was okay it was funny this is a very very um, messy process using chalk as you can imagine I mean it's no big deal really but um, a lot different than watercolor also used some um, white Windsor Newton ink um, and it helped a lot because there's just points where you really want a bright, bright white. And when you've got the black background pushing through, it's, it's, it's actually quite hard to uh, make it as white as you want. So anywhere you can see the, uh, the bright whites is actually where I put the ink down. But overall, it was fun. Um, put on some fixative at the very end to keep the chalk on. Um, and then so just when you're walking around it doesn't brush off onto everything and get everything wet uh, or dry sorry uh, or dusty but other than that uh, this was a fun one you're gonna see the final uh, picture coming up and uh, we'll call this one done for the day um, yeah, it was fun I don't know what to do with it roll it up smoke it whatever I uh, hope you have a good day please like and subscribe and most people love the joke of the day at the end, so here it is. And, and I hope you have a good day. Anyway, thanks very much, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.